All right, I worked on something uh, different today. I worked on the Daftman um, 1.5 volt 1 AA battery LED circuit that he posted at the Teep forum. And it is uh, different than what I've been working with. Instead of using a toroid coil uh, in the Joule D circuit, he's using an inductor, which is basically a coil like that. And I actually made this one here to uh, try out and that actually worked, but I had an inductor that worked. Now I modified the circuit slightly and I added a charging part right here so it became a charging circuit and uh, that did work. That, uh, it's very similar to the um, Jewel Thief where you put it. You put it uh, behind the LED before it gets back to the emitter on the negative rail and it charges just like on a Jewel Thief. It's a little different kind of circuit it uh, stops running at uh, 0.7 or 0.8 volts. It won't go down to 0.3 like the Jewel Thief, but it does work. And you can use this uh, inductor. And you can see I changed some of the values from what he posted. But it does work. And it, uh, it's a modified uh, Daftman circuit that runs on uh, low voltage. Now, I have this uh, being charged up by a solar cell. It's a 3.5 volt, 70 milliamp solar cell that's just hooked up to that light right there. Now, of course, the sun would do the same thing. But what I've got it doing is I've got it charging up a supercapacitor. That's a 2.3 volt, um, 10 farad super cap. There's the circuit. There's the inductor right there that, like I say, is really that part right there. It's a coil of wire, and they have them uh, in different ratings of, of Henry's. It's, it's rated in Henry's, and these markings are how you... Uh, tell what it is. It's just like resistor markings. Now this is the only thing I had so I, I used it and it did work. I changed some of the values. These are 2N222's two 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 instead of what he called for but they worked. And uh, I'm going to use a capacitor here to show the charging on a thing. I've got it zeroed out right now. I'm going to disconnect it here and show the charge happening on this capacitor. This is a 220 uh, microfarad 50 volt cap and let me turn it on and I'll show the uh, the way it works here okay, there goes the LED and there goes the charging on the capacitor this is the back end that is um, charging up on the back part of the circuit and you can see it charges right on up just like a normal Bedini solid state charger and that's what I was hoping this would do and it works quite well um, there's no problem at all. So the way you would run this is just like I did on the Jewel Thief. You'd have a battery here, a battery here. You'd have a toggle switch to switch them back and forth or swap the batteries. Just like on the, uh, the uh, Jewel Thief circuits that I've been working with. So that's quite successful. I like his circuit. It works quite well. And uh, you can make a charger out of it. Now the second thing I worked on over here was this circuit here and this is a, a standard jewel thief and what I added was a inverter transformer right behind the LED and was able to get it to light up a fluorescent tube off of this secondary transformer and let me turn that on and I'll show you how that works okay there goes the light on that now you can see I have a little neon right there if I touch this, this will this will glow. Now, if I touch the bulb, I can get the bulb to come on. Now the bulb's on right now, and uh, this here again, I can put the the charge battery in the back end of this, and get this to work just like a jewel thief now. So it it stays lit, but it stays lit fairly dim. You'd have to use a a smaller bulb perhaps on this circuit here, and uh, it, it runs at. Uh, 2 to 3 volts is what this one runs for. But I ran this all night long, and it ran all night long quite nicely. Um, not a problem. So that's the latest. That's what I've been working with today. Two different circuits. And uh, it was uh, very successful.